Welcome to the Global Network. Please support us by clicking the like button and subscribing to our social media accounts to stay up to date with our content. If you want to go further, consider joining our organization by visiting our website, spaceforpeace.org. General Dynamics is one of the largest weapons manufacturers in the world. Based in the U.S., providing broad support to the U.S. military's wars of aggression and the U.S. federal government's regime of tracking black and brown migrants, as well as places outside of the U.S., such as the Israeli military. An organization of multi-generational activists and organizers have created a website to help better understand the broad reach of weapons manufacturers like General Dynamics. The organization and the website is called The Mapping Project, which can be found at mapliberation.org. This organization is based in the areas in and around Boston, Massachusetts, and their goal is, quote, to develop a deeper understanding of local institutional support for the colonization of Palestine and harms that we see as linked, such as policing, U.S. imperialism, and displacement and ethnic cleansing. Our work is grounded in the realization that oppressors share tactics and institutions and that our liberation struggles intersect and to strategically grow our local organizing capacities. With these goals in mind, they've created an interactive map full of descriptions, history, and information on current institutions who are linked to the oppression of colonized people around the world. In this case, we're looking at general dynamics and many links connected to this human killing machine. Here's the map created by the mapping project. Within all these connections are massive amounts of searchable data. You can search for big weapons developers such as Raytheon, major corporations who have ties to the oppressive institutions like policing and militarization, or you can even find links to labor unions who support Zionism. The list is very comprehensive. But let's take a look at the links that are connected to General Dynamics. Simply go to their website, click on Interactive Map, and search for General Dynamics in the search bar. A map will pop up immediately showing the links to other institutions. And below that, a description of the types of oppression will appear, such as General Dynamics being complicit in colonialism, ecological harm, the prison industrial complex, Zionism, and so on. And below this is some basic information which provides more details on these links we see on the map. There's the typical information such as the amounts of contracts General Dynamics has had with the Pentagon, receiving over $200 billion for the provision of products and services to the U.S. military, but also including billions more from sales to specific branches of the armed forces. In another section, it details the links to the Israeli military, where General Dynamics has sold the 2,000-pound MK-84 bombs to Israel and how these bombs have been used on Palestinians. Another section describes the connections to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the oppressive institutions who target black and brown migrants near the border. General Dynamics develops biometric technologies, which have collected data on over 230 million individuals, as well as to develop surveillance systems to legally and illegally monitor their targets. Much of this technology is rolled over to other state agencies and used by the U.S. military, but also by other agencies who illegally monitor U.S. citizens. Basically, anyone and everyone is a target of surveillance these days. There's also very interesting information about specific links with General Dynamics. One section describes how Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren fought to protect and expand funding for many projects of General Dynamics. In addition, General Dynamics spent over $275 million from 1998 to 2021 lobbying U.S. federal officials, such as Senator Warren, for more war, more destruction, and of course, more weapons contracts. Other sections include more links to General Dynamics to institutions like the University of Massachusetts Amherst, who host career fairs for General Dynamics. Other links include connections to General Electric and their contracts with General Dynamics, up to $100 million. Connections to the RTN Federal Credit Union, 
which is a bank originally created by Raytheon employees and currently serves many of the General Dynamics employees, as well as relations with ICE, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, where General Dynamics has provided broad-scale support in their racist regime of tracking, detention, and deportations of black and brown immigrants. General Dynamics was the primary contractor for the IDENT biometric data collection system, which was the key technology that facilitated the Secure Communities program, which was directly responsible for an estimated 450,000 deportations between 2008 and 2014. The Mapping Project is a great resource for activists and organizers to find these links to their local establishments and to help create campaigns which expose their relationships to oppressive institutions such as General Dynamics, but also to financial banks and other agencies within the state that uphold brutal, racist, sexist policies which overwhelmingly target innocent people. Visit their website at mapliberation.org, follow them on Instagram at mapping underscore project, and support them if you can. They've provided a deep wealth of information for activists and organizers of all types.